One would desire a huge lawn, a spacious kitchen, and an extra bedroom for visiting friends on their house hunting checklist, but the world's 1% can afford to be a little pickier. With a nine-figure price tag, jaw-dropping interior design, and an array of luxurious additions, this lavish mansion is the most expensive property in America has ever seen. This is Niall Niami's $500 million The One Mansion. But, it's not the $500 million one anymore. It has been sold in the eight-figure range, as Niall Niami was forced to sell it for only $63.1 million after failing to pay millions in loans and debt. However, many consider it to be the most valuable property in the United States. So, let's take a look inside the most expensive home in the United States. So without further ado, let's get into it. Introduction to the One Bel Air Nao Niami, a developer of mega mansions, set out nearly a decade ago to build the most expensive mansion in the urban world. The mansion is known as the One. It's a 105,000-square-foot residence on a five-acre Bel Air plot with panoramic views of the plebs below. This mega mansion appears as an auto gallery that can hold 30 cars, five swimming pools, an interior nightclub, and a bowling alley. Because this house is in Bel Air, it has some notable neighbors around like Jennifer Aniston, Jay-Z and Beyonce, Will Smith, and several others. The One, the ultimate luxury home. The One was designed to be capable of hosting some of the grandest parties imaginable. The house has some exterior gardens that add a bit of life to the concrete surrounding it. At this extravagant, you can find yourself in one of the five pools, which has floating circular couches that allow visitors to sit and enjoy a drink or meal while overlooking the water's inner characteristics. The building has an exceptional collection of art thanks to a cooperation between creative art partners and art angels, including a butterfly installation by Stephen Wilson on the lower level and a Nicholas Costello bespoke panel in black and silver in the office. There is also a large collection of showroom handmade furniture. The One has 21 luxurious bedrooms and 41 bathrooms, with a primary master suite larger than most homes. The 4,000-square-foot master bedroom has a walk-in closet with plenty of room for clothing, shoes, and accessories. The mansion also includes several interesting facilities, such as a room with candy walls straight out of Willy Wonka however, one of the most striking elements is the jellyfish room. This is a chamber with tanks filled with jellyfish on all sides, as it turns out, surrounding a room. Another nice feature of the one was a freezer room and bar, with the idea being that the cold temperatures would eliminate the need for ice. Unfortunately, the feature proved to be too wasteful and was removed from the design plans, but that doesn't detract from some of the other impressive features, such as the cigar room gym. Like many luxury houses, this mansion features a home theater, but unlike other mansions, there are two theaters, one of which can seat up to 50 people. That is the last thing you would want to do at the mansion considering all the other exciting things to do in the huge mansion. The closets are larger than some family rooms, and the open floor design makes the rest of the house feel much larger than it is. On top of that, the hilltop location allows for some great views of the Los Angeles skyline as well as some privacy. Best of all, this house boasts a modern design, opting for a black and white interior for most of the rooms, which complements the grey wood floors and marble walls inside the mansion. Some rooms do have a darker look while others have a white and grey aesthetic, both are superb and make the different rooms feel connected but unique. There are other little touches as well such as the library having glass walls allowing for sunlight to stream into the room. Furthermore, a waterfall streams alongside the driveway making even the approach up into the mansion a unique fun experience. History of the Mansion's Price America's most expensive property, the one in Los Angeles, was auctioned off for $63.1 million. On Tuesday, September 14, it was sold to billionaire investor Nicholas Bergruen. According to court filings, the mansion's owner, Niall Niami had defaulted on more than $100 million in loans and obligations, prompting the sale. Nicholas Bergruen outbid five other buyers in a receivership auction for around $15 million more than the company's asking price of $48 million. The home, which previously belonged to media magnate William Randolph Hearst, is regarded as one of the most historically significant pieces of land in Los Angeles. This mansion is also known as the place where John F. Kennedy honeymooned with his wife, 
Jacqueline Kennedy, back in 1953. The 3.5-acre mansion has been on and off the market since 2007, with the price lowering each time, according to listing data. Its asking price in 2016 was $195 million. The property's owner, attorney Leonard Ross, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2019 to escape foreclosure, and it was subsequently advertised for $125 million. It was then removed off the market in March of this year. It was resold the next month in April for $89.75 million and again in June for slightly under $70 million. But the final deal was made in September for a whopping $63.1 million. Final thoughts. On a five-acre parcel in the posh Los Angeles enclave of Bel Air the One, 105,000-square-foot property is indeed one of the most luxurious mansions in the world. To conclude, the home has 21 bedrooms and 42 bathrooms. It also has a 10,000-bottle wine cellar, a 50-car garage, a 50-person movie theater, a nightclub, a cigar lounge, a sky deck, a pudding green, a salon, a bowling alley, and other facilities. Overall, I believe Nicholas Bergruen made a great deal. From an investment standpoint, I believe that this home has the potential to be sold in the near future for hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked the video, if so then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So you never miss any video, see you in the next video, till then take care. Thanks for watching.